We're doing it on camera. Doing it on camera. Damon Oliver and Hurdle. Let's go. It's either gonna be I absolutely do not know it or I know it like instantly. Alright. I knew oh, 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 it's man research clapper. A gorilla's one does exist, but it just doesn't work. <laughs> so. oh, I, 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 I want to do another tier list. I'm going to do another tier list. But what do I tier list? Let's do all gorillas tracks. Every single one. Except new gold. The <laughs> I, I can't find one that uh, has new gold in it. So, unfortunately, I won't be ranking new gold. So sorry if you wanted to see that. Their ass decided to release another song while I was editing. So no, you're not going to see Baby Queen either. What is Baby Queen? I also realized that there are no singles that aren't attached to any albums. So there's no Sleeping Powder, no Don Chromatic, no Do You Thing. So you won't be seeing that. <laughs> you won't be seeing those there either. Um, but just know that Do You Thing... Uh, specifically, Do You Thing, that is one of the best songs Gorillaz has ever released, and I stand by that. I'm the shit! Uh, this is gonna be probably the most controversial video ever made by anyone, ever. What I really enjoy about, um, Gorillaz fans is that everyone is so different in terms of their opinions. So, um, whenever... I hear a bad opinion, I am always like, wow, that was a really bad opinion. But then I remember that I myself also have some very bad opinions, and um, I'm going to display those bad opinions right now, and I'm very excited. So yeah, warning, there are going to be some bad opinions. Opinions that I know are absolute garbage. And my brother might watch this, and he's... He's a big Gorillaz fan. Um, we, we saw Gorillaz uh, a few weeks ago. Um, and that's not really why I'm doing this, but it is absolutely why I'm doing this. If you don't believe me, here's footage, here's the proof, here's the evidence. It was actually rather traumatizing because uh, in the video, uh, you can't really see it, but um, Damon Albarn, he's like charging this like Kamehameha Dragon Ball Z type beam above his head. That's why he's like raising his hands like that And when he turns like toward my camera in the video, he's about to release that beam he was Basically like that video cut off because he killed me and I died, but luckily I lived anyway Let's uh, let's just start we're gonna talk about the tears because the last time I did a tier list It was boring a b c d. What are we a spelling bee? Are we a spell- no. We- we- we have names now. We have names for the tier lists now, okay? First things first, we got THE music of all time. This is what music is. Music is these songs. <laughs> Next tier is This Is My Jam. That's basically my jam. Next tier we have Good, which is- I think also pretty self-explanatory is it's just good. Next tier is It's Fine. These are pretty um, creative names for tiers. I, I, <laughs> I realize that. Next tier is Forgettable. That's just a song that uh, I don't really remember exists. You might um, already have an idea of what those songs may be on a certain album. Next tier we have EP. That's basically... Songs that are a little more than forgettable, they're boring. And I think there's nothing worse than a song that is boring. And finally, our last tier is Failure, which is just complete, utter garbage. How could they release this? Why did they release this? We're gonna start with the elephant. I don't really know what the order is on this, <laughs> on this uh, tier list, I'll be honest. But this is the best one that I could find that has almost all the songs that they've released. But yeah, first one's The Elephant off of Humans, which is an interlude. It is forgettable. 
it's Ben Mendelsohn saying, and out of the elephant's trunk, confetti. That's all it is. It's harmless. It's not necessary. But it's it was humans. <laughs> Next is Hallelujah Money. Hallelujah Money was when I remember it, when it came out, that was a very important song. Not because it came out when Trump was inaugurated, but because it was my birthday. <laughs> yeah, my birthday was when Trump, Trump was inaugurated. It was 2017. I was turning 15. So it was a very big day. Had a gorilla song released on my birthday. I remember it pretty well because I had, um, I had midterms. I was in high school, I think I was a freshman. Uh, I remember the day and like the news came out and I was on Twitter at the time and I was like, this is the best day of my life. Trump is being inaugurated and this is the best day of my life. <laughs> but yeah, yeah, the video came out, the Spongebob meme came out, that was really cool. It's been a minute since I've listened to Hallelujah Money. Um, as far as I know, it's fine. We got the power? What a mess of a song. Uh, it, failure. Sorry. <laughs> Sorry. Next we got Humility. Again, I don't know what this order is on the tier list. I don't know what this, the creator was, um, thinking. I, I, that was kind of mean. That was really mean. Humility is a really nice summer song. But you have to be in a mood to listen to it. So I would say that it's good. It's a good song. It's a good song. And when you're in that mood, when it's June and like summer is just on the rise, that's a perfect song to put on. Trans, I know it's pronounced trance, okay? But trans is how it's spelt, so trans is how I say it. This is my jam. It's one of the best songs off of the Now Now. I don't want to go on tangents on every single song or else I'm going to be here for five hours and I don't think I have enough time on my camera for that. Hollywood is good. It is better than humility. Kansas is EP. Sorry, Kansas is EP. Sorcerers? I actually kind of like Sorcerers quite a bit. I think it's a... Uh, I think it's pretty catchy. I would say it's good, but it's next to Hollywood, like in between the two. Idaho? I don't remember Idaho. I just only remember is Idaho, Idaho. So it's forgettable, but it's better than the elephant because that's literally an interlude. Lake Zurich, I, I don't know. Sometimes gorilla songs that are instrumentals are the best songs. Me when I lie? <laughs> what am I saying? Lake Zurich is good and it's above everything here. Next song on the list is Rock the House, which is on self titled. I like the horns, I like the trumpets. Um, beautiful gowns, nice gowns. Um, it's fine. Uh, next is Magic City off of the Now Now. Literally, what does that song even sound like? Why don't I remember? <laughs> oh! oh, it's this one. Okay, well, I, I couldn't remember what it sounds like, so it's going under, um, forgettable. But it is a little, it's a little better than Idaho. Fireflies, I remember Fireflies. I had, uh, the Now Now was one of the very few albums that I got on iTunes. So yeah, I had the Now Now uh, on like demand uh, whenever I was on the bus. That's when I was going to school. And the f Fireflies was always a song that I skipped. Every single time I would be like, oh, what's this song? And then that bass would come up, the ba -doom -doom, ba -doom, ba -doom, boom, boom. And then I'd be like, skip. And uh, so, and it's not because it's forgettable, it's because it's EP. 1% is a very short song, very sweet song. I really like the the end part of it. Um so it's a solid good. It's a good. Sukai. Is that even how you say that? Sukai. This is my jam. <laughs> this is my jam. Okay, we're getting into song machine territory. Strange times. That's a... That's a toughie. 
This is my jam. <laughs> the Valley of the Pagans? That one's a very... Damn, this is hard. <laughs> it's good. It's good. It's... It's, uh... It's... It's... This is hard. The Lost Chord? That one had the really good video. The song is very... They say the Lost Chord a lot. It's fine. <laughs> Pac-Man, no, no doubt about it, the music of all time, the music of all time, it's, it's, I don't know what it is about Pac-Man, it's just so addictive to listen to, that the beeps and boops of that song, addictive. Chalk Tablet Towers, okay, this is the song with St. Vincent, um, I like St. Vincent, uh, so I was really excited to know that she was gonna be on a Gorillaz track, and then she ended up being backing vocals, and didn't have any verses, so that was a little disappointing. So, um, I understand how Lana Del Rey stands feel about, um, that Taylor Swift song. I mean, I still really like it. I still think it's a great song, so I'm putting it under This Is My Jam. <laughs> the Pink Phantom, I remember when this came out. Pink Phantom featuring Black and Elton John. Everyone was like, Black's verse is so not fitting with the rest of the song. I don't agree. I think that his verse is great. Um, I understand, um, like, your initial watch being like, oh, this is kind of weird. But once you get used to it, it's like, it flows really nicely, and I think it works really well with the song. As for the song itself, it's good. Okay, now we got a random <laughs> Gorillaz self-titled album song. We got 192000. 192000 is a classic song. I love 192000's vibe. Everyone sounds like they're on drugs. Tina Weymouth from Talking Heads is in it, which is, I mean, I, this that's the closest thing I'll ever get to a Talking Heads collab <laughs> with Gorillaz. It's a good song. Aries, not, not, not even close. The, the music of all time. I don't even need to explain. If you don't know, listen to it. Friday 13th also, the music of all time. I don't know why. There's just something about it. Okay, Dead Butterflies. This is my jam. I don't know what it is about Dead <laughs> I don't know what it is. I just don't know what it is. I don't know what it is. I remember when I first listened to Dead Butterflies, Mike Will made its like watermark thing, the producer tag. Is, is he a producer? The tag Mike Will, Will made, made it, it is at the way beginning of Dead Butterflies and never in my life did I ever think that a Mike Will made it tag would be in a gorilla song. I like dead butterflies. <laughs> Desolé! I love you, Desolé, so much. I love you so much. I love you so much. I made a video about Desolé uh, on the channel. That's that's the only gorillas video that I've ever made on this channel. And that's really insane. Wait until I do that one video where I react to my Instagram videos, there's gonna be an overload of gorilla stuff and I'm very scared. Momentary Bliss is my jam. When they came out with Momentary Bliss, that was their first song from Song Machine that they released and I remember thinking, gorillas are back and they're actually going a little crazy this time. And then they release Song Machine and oh no, oh no, now we're in the deluxe song territory. I don't know the deluxe songs, I've only <laughs> listened to them once. Opium has, okay, Opium's the next song, so I that one I remember because they performed that one. I remember going back to that one and realizing that that's the song with the FNAF sound effects, the Five Nights at Freddy's sound effects. So, that's- it, it was really good live, so it's gonna go on good. Funny story about, um, Opium Live, um, at the beginning of it, um, Damon Albarn was just at his piano, doing the song, and he was just laughing. Why the fuck was he laughing? Uh, I'll, I'll roll a clip. Listen to me in the background. <laughs> I 
funny stuff. Simplicity, okay. Literally do not remember this song at all. Hello, we'll give you one second. That's the Jonas Policewoman track, okay. Let's see if I remember this. Can't work out what 2D is saying? Are you serious? That's just very one note, it seems. Um, just from that one listen to, I'm, I'm gonna say it's forgettable, sorry. Severed head, now... I don't know that one either. <laughs> I don't remember that one. <laughs> sorry. This one's Gold Link and Unknown Mortal Orchestra. Whoosh! <laughs> it's again, it's the same thing. It's like kind of one note. It doesn't really go anywhere to me, so it's forgettable as well. With love to an ex. Don't know that one either. <laughs> Google. I remember this one. I remember this one. Okay, yeah, going back to that one, I remember that one a little bit better than the other two. So that one is fine, but like a high fine. If I went back to that and listened to that more, I'd be like way more into that. MLS this is the next one. I'm pretty sure that's the JPEG Mafia song. Yeah, the JPEG Mafia and Chai song. This one I remember when I listened to it. I liked it better. Pretty good. It's pretty good. Um, I put that at good. You know, I'll put with love to an X at good too. A little better than MLS though. Okay. <laughs> I think that's. Oh no, there's how far. Oh, what is how far? I don't remember that one. That one has Tony Allen. That's a good song. That's a good song. How far? Yeah, right there. That's good. All right, next is uh. Latin Simone, the Spanish version, that's a good song too. <laughs> oh. Okay, yeah, there. Taxi back to 80s Reykjavik. I don't, I have no idea what that is. The way that I am like, I'm such a big fan of Gorillaz and I don't know any of these songs. <laughs> no. This is a bonus track. If it sucks, I'm gonna be so pissed. I just wanna break this song I may, I may actually have heard this. Why do I? F this sounds familiar. That's really nice. What the heck? Are there verses? Is this all it is? Okay. Yeah. I, I think that's. Taxi back to eight. It's very vibes, very vibes. I could see myself listening to that a lot. Lo, this is my jam. <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> now we got the Meanwhile EP next. I've not listened to that, so we're just gonna skip that. <laughs> what is 
this, man? What is this order? I'm sorry. Okay, we got Starshine from Self Titled. That one's like a really slow one. Starshine. Never gonna find me. It's fine. No, it's a low good. <laughs> slow country, I kind of like. I would also put that at good. <laughs> I'm putting everything at good. This is <laughs> M1A1. I'll be honest, I'm not. It's fine. <laughs> uh, Dracula is eepy. I don't care for Dracula. The Sounder? Which one's that one? That one's the one that goes woo! So it's like Gorilla's version of Song, song 2. <laughs> It's forgettable. <laughs> Latin Simone in English, I don't listen to that one. But it's like, fine. It's good, okay, I, I won't say it's Faust, Faust, Faust. I really like Faust. I have no idea why. This is my jam. It's like right next to Taxi Back to 80s Reykjavik where it's like, well, Faust has lyrics, but it's at the last 20 seconds, but it's very, very nice. Rehash. Rehash is also my jam. Very nice uh, little tune. Pretty solid opener for self-titled. Ghost Train. It's good un until it gets too repetitive, and then it's like... Meh. So it's like a high fine. <laughs> Hip Albatross, forgettable. I don't remember it. Left Hand Suzuki Method. That is such a marijuana song. You know what I mean? That's marijuana. If it, <laughs> The song literally opens with a giant bong rip. <laughs> so it's a, it's, a, it's a vibe song. So it's actually my jam. No, that's not true. It's good. It's a high good. I'm gonna put all these songs in good, probably. 1, 2, D, 3. EP. Although the guitar sound is pretty nice, I do quite like the guitar of it, and the thought of them making a song that is just about 2D being like, I literally am, my name is 2D, that's kind of cute. But now we're getting into uh, Demon Days. Intro to Demon Days? It's fine. <laughs> Last Living Souls? I used to love Last Living Souls when I was younger. That was like one of my favorite songs off of Demon Days. It's a good song, but, um... <laughs> this is so hard to do. I hate doing this. Why did I do this? Kids with Guns? I want to put it on a low good. Is that bad? <laughs> is it bad that Kids with Guns is not, like, one of my one of the top tier songs in Demon Days to me. I think my Demon Days opinions are like my worst ones. <laughs> oh, Green World, good song, not my favorite. <laughs> I'll say it. Um, I think Kids With Guns is better. Dirty Harry is slightly better than Last Living Souls. Feel Good Ink. Should I put it at the music? Yeah, sure. <laughs> El Manana, okay. El Manana is okay. It's not the best. It's not the best song off Demon Days. I know that the video is incredible. I, I'm not. I'm not denying that. But the song is okay. It's fine. And then there's just a random 5-4. 5-4, she turned my dad on. Um, hmm. This is my jam. Every planet we reach is dead. It's very long. It has that long outro. I would say it's in between there. Okay, November Has Come is really good when November 1st comes around and then that's it. I don't ever listen to it. I know, that's really, that's so because it's MF Doom and I know I know, I know, I know, but it's like it's okay. It's a fine song. It's a fine song. It's, it's going and it's fine. This is so painful. All Alone though. All Alone the music of all time. <laughs> um, Better Than Desolate? No. Better Than Pac-Man? I would say that they're on like the same 
you know white light terrible 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 opinion i know white light is one of the best songs off of demon day <laughs> and that's all i'll say dare eat day eat day the music of all time the top three songs of all time white light dare and feel good ink yeah sure fire coming out of the monkey's head can we call this a song no just kidding um i actually quite like it I actually quite like it. Don't get lost in heaven. That's when 2D says you're a hobo. So it's high good. <laughs> Demon Days is excellent. Demon Days is great. I'm putting it, I'm putting it, I'm putting it there. Boom. There, I did Demon Days. That was so painful. 68 State. What's 68 State again? <laughs> I forgot. Uh. So these are off of D sides. We're on D sides now. It's forgettable. It's like Detroit. It's it sounds kind of like an elevator going, but it's like, it's 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 forgettable. Tomorrow comes today. I hate to say that it's only okay because I know it was one of their first ones, but it's only okay. That being said, the melodica. Oh how I love you. Put it right next to Rock the House. People! Oh my god, I love people. Why do I love people? Because it sounds like dare? Well, not, not because it sounds like dare, because it practically is dare, but it, like as a demo. Um, that's an excellent song. I don't know why it is. It's literally the same thing over and over and over again, but that don't that does not matter. Hong Kong Ton. What it's written Hong Kong -a Tron. It's not Hong Kong a Tron, it's Hong Kong a Ton. That song's pretty good. That's a song, that's another one of the marijuana songs where it sounds like everyone's on drugs and it's awesome. <laughs> we Are Happy Landfill is awesome. 2D says the word shit in it. So it's obviously this is my jam. <laughs> Hong Kong, people really like Hong Kong. They say that it's like the most beautiful song ever. I actually don't know if that's true. Maybe I think I might be making that up, but let me look this up. I think this is a five minute song. It's a seven minute song. Even better. Damon was on his Pink Floyd shit at this time. Let me just read these lyrics. He says shit in this one too. Pick the shit up, leave it. Okay, that's going in good. <laughs> we already put in that in good. <laughs> highway? What's highway? What is highway? Oh, it's highway under construction. That's a pretty good song. It also sounds like everyone's on drugs. So, it's good. <laughs> Rocket? What a song. Rocket is literally just... 90% of the time, Damon Almarn saying blah, 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 and it's awesome. So this is my jam. <laughs> this is my jam. It was, it was like one of my favorites when I was younger. It's very easy to just listen to and just turn your brain off. I hate saying turn your brain off, but... For a band with stoners in it, it it, 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 it's fitting. Okay, it's fitting. Bill Murray has that one sound that sounds like a telephone, and it's awesome. And at the end, or maybe not at the end, but it's like they have this weird part where the music just stops, and then there's like the vocals or the harmonies are nice, and it's a nice song. It's a nice song. So it's going in good. <laughs> The Swagger. Which one's that one? That was the one that goes Woo! So it's like the realest version of song, song 2. Wait a minute. I might have gotten my songs incorrect. I did. The Swag. <laughs> the Swagger was song 2. Whatever. I'm not, I'm not changing where the sounder is. I think the sounder is... What's the sounder? What's the sound? This one has the rap in it, doesn't it? You can escape this music even if your name's Houdini. I'll 
Yeah, it does. I don't care. I don't care. I'm I'm not I'm not moving it. Murdoch is God, absolute failure, but it's better than we got the power. Murdoch is God. I hate Murdoch is God. New genius. New genius brother. Love this song. This is my jam. Spitting out the demons is forgettable. Stop the dams is also forgettable. I don't want to listen to it. I'm sorry. I don't want to listen to it. I'm, I'm being really frustrating at this point. So we're on Plastic Beach now. Orchestral intro. It's fine. It's an intro. Like, I don't know how you rank intros. Welcome to the world of Plastic Beach. Snoop Dogg gets you hyped for this album. And it's it's great. It's a, It's good. White Flag. This is my jam. There's like a part in White Flag every time I listen to it. That is this one sound. It goes whip. It's so. Oh my god! I love, I love when gorilla songs have sounds in them. When they have s noises and beeps and. Blah. Rhinestone eyes is one of the songs of all time. There's no doubt about it. I like big dick, 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 dick. Stylo, same thing can be said about Stylo. There are so many legendary songs on Plastic Beach. Stylo, the music of all time. Super Fast Jellyfish, my jam. The only one problem I have with it is that it has one verse and then all Hail King Neptune. And then there's that chorus with the guy. Um... And then it has that same verse, and I, I feel like there could be another verse there. Um, and it's not a verse, it's like more of a hook. I don't know. Empire Ants! <laughs> oh my lord, help me up above. You are literally everything to me. <laughs> glitter Freeze. It was the Glitter Freeze. I used to listen to this song a lot at school. It, it would always. I also had Plastic Beach on my phone. On iTunes, Glitter Freeze would come on every time, so sometimes I would skip it. Um, but yeah, Glitter Freeze is awesome. It's such a badass song. As much as I hate that f fucking word. You listen to that song when you want to feel like a cool person. Clint Eastwood just showed up. <laughs> What's Clint Eastwood? The music of all time. It's just too iconic. I can't put it, I can't not put it there, you know? Some Kind of Nature also the music of all time. On Melancholy Hill, I don't want to say that it's fine, but it, it, it's, it's, it's fine. It's, it's, it's fine. Broken is the music of all time. What a, what a crazy song. It's so sad. <laughs> um, I'm putting all the Plastic Beach songs next to each other. Sweepstakes is forgettable. Uh, sweepstakes is the only skip off of Plastic Beach for me. Plastic Beach, music of all time. Music of all time. Like, no, no doubt about it. Uh, to Binge, also music of all time. <laughs> it's just, like, come on now. It's a little better than Plastic Beach, though. And Broken. Cloud of the Unknowing? Hmm. It's fine. Pirate Jet is a is fun. Pirate Jet's fun. Put it in good. <laughs> Alright, we got we got the fall now. Yay. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> fart Arizona. It's fine. It's the fart song. I like to call it the fart song because it sounds like fart. <laughs> <laughs> Revolving door. <laughs> Revolving Doors is probably my favorite Gorilla song of all time. I don't- I can't tell you why, man. I can't tell you why. It's just something about it that's just so perfect to me. Was it because it was created on an iPad? Probably. In 2011? Was it 2011 or 2010? 2010? Christmas! The 
Fall is the fourth studio album by British virtual band Gorillaz. It was announced on the 20th December 2010 and released as a download for members of the Gorillaz fan club on 25th December 2010. Next is another self-titled man research clapper. That one's crazy because what the fuck is 2D doing at the end of this track? I'm kind of obsessed with it. So it's this is my jam. <laughs> it's it's next to Rocket on like um levels of vocals that's like what are you doing? Whereas like Rocket is like what are you doing in terms of what he's saying? The world is very sexy. But man research is like what are these noises you're making, man? <laughs> Hillbilly man. EP. I I remember it being very boring. Detroit? Okay. Detroit is actually kind of not bad. I kind of like Detroit, I'll be honest. I mean, it sure does sound like a song that was made on GarageBand in 2010 during the Plastic Beach tour. <laughs> but, um, it's fine. Let's say it's better than Phoner to Arizona. Shy town Absolutely do not remember what Shy town sounds like, so that's forgettable. Little Pink Plastic Bags? Forgettable. The Joplin Spider. Oh my god, if you've never listened to the Joplin Spider, I'm just gonna give you a little taste of what it is. So it starts out with like, I don't even know what this is. It sounds like a phone. It's Damon Albarn's voice. Like, what is he seriously? What are you saying? It's like 30 seconds of this. And then. <laughs> And it just sounds like these. It's 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 practically a hundred gex before a hundred gex. But the thing is, is that I actually kind of like when Damon's vocals. I kind of like that. So I can't say it's a failure because I kind of like the vocals. It's a failure. It's a failure. Okay. <laughs> a parish of space dust. I'm not gonna listen to it. I will. Uh, I will when I'm editing. Is this the one with the radio? Correct. It's forgettable. <laughs> the Snake in Dallas. Okay, the Snake in Dallas. I actually don't hate the Snake in Dallas. I actually kind of like how it sounds like a snake. It sounds like it's slithering. It's it's kind of it's kind of smart, and it's like not bad. It's a fine song. I. I wouldn't say it's good. I would say it's fine. <laughs> Amarillo or Amarillo because it's like named after is it a city? I don't remember what state but it, this is an insane incredible song. It's actually crazy how the songs on uh, the fall that are good are really good and then you remember that they were all created on an iPad so it's like well why don't you make songs like Revolving Doors and Amarillo if the <laughs> This is my jam. The Speak It Mountains. I don't know, it's forgettable. Aspen Forest is forgettable. Punk off of self-title. We got another random self-title little beeper over here. Punk is great. Punk is great. This is my jam. It's next to Momentary Bliss on like that style uh, on that level of like loud yellingness, you know? Bobby and Phoenix? This one has Bobby Womack on it. I don't remember it. It's forgettable. <laughs> California and the slipping of the sun. I don't even think that's how it goes. Forgettable. Seattle Yodel. I'm sorry to say. The music of all time, man. <laughs> I have, okay, so we're on humans now. Oh, we're almost done. Yeah! I switched my robot off. It's the intro to to humans. It's got Ben Mendelsohn saying, I switched my robot off, but I know more, but retain less. It's fine. <laughs> Ascension. What a song. What a banger. One of the best off humans. It's short. It's sweet. Well, maybe not sweet, but it's great. I would say that it's a high. This is my jam. Strobe light. I don't really like strobe light that much it's fine 
Saturn's bars? Oh god, I also feel that same way. I don't really care that much for Saturn's bars, I'll be honest. It's better than strobe light though, but I'm putting it under this. It's fine. The video for it is so good though. Oh my god, I remember when it came out. Oh my god, the day that Humans was, was announced and they released four. They released Ascension. We got the power. Andromeda. Saturn's bars. I, that, I didn't say that, right? They released those four at the same time. They were insane for it. On David Albarn's birthday, I remember it. But like, that was such a big day for me because like, they released the video for Saturn's bars and like, it's so nice, so nicely animated and the bath oh my god the bath <laughs> anyway moments moments has to be the least gorilla sounding track gorillas has ever released and i kind of love it i'm kind of obsessed with moments it is so trashy but in a way that i love so it's my jam it's like we are happy landfill sure like right next to that the Nonconformist Oath is an <laughs> is an interlude for humans, which has Steve Martin sample. It's fine. Submission? Submission's kind of okay. It's better than Hallelujah Money. Danny Brown is very, is I think a great um, part of the song. But I remember people were not into it. <laughs> We're not into Danny Brown's verse when that song came out and they were like, what the fuck is happening here? This was so nice and then like it got crazy like Shut up! <laughs> Shut up! We got sound check gravity from self-titled. That used to be a favorite of mine when I was younger. Now it's good. It's still good, but it's like not one of my favorites. So I would say it's good. Charger. If my brother's watching this, he's gonna hate this. Uh, it's like, hi, this is my jam. He does not like Charger. I don't know why. Elevator going up, it's obviously right next to Seattle Yodel, the music of all time. <laughs> Andromeda is one of the best off humans. That's like, everyone knows that. Everyone knows that. Everyone can agree on that. Where is it though on the tier list? It's, it's gonna be in the good tier next to the pink phantom okay busted in blue is also pretty good that one has a very nice vibe to it and like it sounds like the color blue i say as i don't have um editing wombat uh, put up the condition that that is Synesthesia. it's a good and it quite literally is right next to andromeda because they transition from one to uh, to another and it's very nice Talk Radio is another interlude. I don't even remember what that one is. Roger, Roger that. that. Roger, Roger that. that. It's that one. <laughs> Carnival. I hate Carnival. Failure. <laughs> Let Me Out is fine. It's a pretty okay song. People made memes about that. We're like, hey, it's like Let Rick and Morty. Out. Rick Let and Morty. Out. Penthouse, another interlude. It's fine. Sex Murder Party. I remember when they released a track list for humans and I remember seeing title sex murder party and I was thinking that one's gonna slap and then it absolutely did not slap it was just a slow song but it was pretty good it was fine it's a fine song I like 2d's verse in it she's my caller she's my caller is a weird song I'll be honest why does he breathe so much <laughs> it's like it's a little unsettling and it's like it's not gross. I don't want to be like, oh, ew, the old man is making these weird noises. No, I'm not saying that, but it's like, I don't know. You have to be in a certain mood to, to listen to that song. It's a fine song. It's fine. It's fine. Double bass off of self-titled is actually pretty good. I actually quite like that song. I quite like that song a bit. You know what I realized? This tier list doesn't have the deluxe tracks. I'm gonna have to do that by myself. <sighs> anyway, last song, last song, Cracker Island. I'm obsessed with Cracker Island. I, there's just something about it. It's like crazy, insane, crazy, addictive. So it's the music of all time. 
Okay, here's what I'll do. I will pull up the Humans Deluxe track, and I will say where I would put them, and then I will edit an image <laughs> of the Deluxe tracks on Humans. Okay, Interlude New World. Is it Interlude? Put that in, um... It's fine. The Apprentice, this one I wanted to talk about. So, I remember when The Apprentice came out. That came out before the album did. And I remember people being, like, really upset. Because in that song, uh, 2D just says, Kong, Kong, Kong. And I am a mirror. And that's all he says in the song. And people got, like, mad. They were like, what the then I remember being like, oh god, no. And that's how we got the now now. I'm pretty sure that's how we got the now now. So The Apprentice, I would put in its fine, like in, in between El Manana and Let Me Out. Uh, ho, ho, halfway to the halfway house. I don't like that song. That's going in failure. That's going straight to failure. <laughs> Out of body? I quite like Out of Body. Out of Body is probably my favorite of all the deluxe tracks. I would put it in This Is My Jam, probably. I would put it probably right in between Moments and We Are Happy Landfill. Take or Tape is also a quite nice song. It's a pleasant song. I would put it in between Out of Body and We Are Happy Landfill. And Circle of Friends! Oh my god, Circle of Friends. That is such a waste of a song, I'll be honest. I feel like that song is a waste of time. Uh, I would put it in EP. I would put it way, way at the end. And there you go. There's the tier list. We have done it. We have ranked every single Gorillaz track ever made. That's actually not true. What I'll do is I'll listen to Meanwhile EP as I'm editing. And then I'll put them in the tier list. Hello, Editing Wombat here. I listened to the Meanwhile EP and these are my thoughts on the songs. Meanwhile was the best song, the rap verses were pretty good, beat is nice, 2D's moments were solid as well. It's a fine song. Jimmy Jimmy had an interesting start, until it got kind of old quickly with constant Jimmy Jimmy's being said throughout the song. There was also something about it that felt missing, it kind of felt like a shell of a song. However, the ideas that the song has are interesting enough for me to put it in the It's Fine tier. Deja Vu was interesting, because it was a recording of a live performance. The features of the song absolutely carried the whole thing. To these verses are very goofy and weird. They kinda feel out of place. But there are a few moments of the song that slap really hard. So it's also a fine song. So yeah all the songs are in the It's Fine tier, here is, where I ordered them. Meanwhile, EP Short was a group of songs low. That was very fun. I'm glad that I could call a lot of Gorilla songs good and only like a handful of them pretty bad. And I completely trashed on the fall. Uh, I did not mean to do that. I bought that album actually on uh, vinyl a few years ago uh, <laughs> because I saw it at uh, Name and Address Withheld. And it was like. I don't have this on vinyl, and it's staring at me right in the face, so might as well get it. I also just like having albums, so I'm toxic like that. Thank you for letting me share my opinions. Um, you have every right to roast my opinions. Um, thank you.